Is there anything more bizarre than an abandoned theme park? It is a place where laughter and children's giggles once soared through the air, and where everlasting memories were formed by brightly colored ferris wheels and exciting rides. But the forgotten parks, after being abandoned, become host to dystopian scenes of rotting rides and roller coasters reclaimed by Mother Nature. Here are the top 10 abandoned amusement parks worldwide. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video and make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos. Number 10. Six Flags New Orleans The Gulf Coast of the United States was struck by Hurricane Katrina on August 25, 2005. It was estimated after the storm that 80% of the New Orleans were underwater. The abandoned Six Flags in New Orleans East, which has become a common attraction for urban explorers, is one of Katrina's eeriest and longest standing reminders. In the wake of Hurricane Katrina in August 2005, the Six Flags was left engulfed in floodwaters. What was left of the amusement park was a wasteland after the floodwaters receded. Since the storm, the park, which covers 140 acres, has been abandoned. Close for storm, close for storm. The park was left standing in 4 to 7 feet of water following the storm and had significant wind and flood damage. The park was deemed a total loss by Six Flags in 2006 and was allegedly attempted to get out of its 75-year lease. The park was already one of the Six Flag family's least successful parks. It's placed in a low-income area that is far from other classic tourist attractions in New Orleans, such as the French Quarter was not ideal. And even after Jazzland became a Six Flags, the problem persisted. Number 9. Nara Dreamland, Japan Nara Dreamland was the Japanese response to the famous Disneyland of Southern California in 1961 and shared many of its themes and features, including its own Main Street USA. Sadly, the longevity of the American entertainment staple was lacking, and the bulbs on Main Street fluttered out for good at an all-time low of about 400,000 visitors that year in 2006. Since then, rust and nature has invaded the pay-as-you-go park, making it unsalvageable, but remaining largely intact. In their shabby, weather-worn state, smiling characters have become creepily happy, and trees and bushes grow up and into what were once majestic coasters. The cost of bringing these monolithic coasters back to life, when the park still appears to be operated by electricity, is too high, yet the fate of the park remains unknown. Guards patrol the grounds daily, finding criminals, but there are currently no plans to demolish them in the works. It remains a decaying vision of a misguided American aspirations before its future is determined. Demolition resumed on Nara Dreamland in November 2016 after being sold off in 2015. The entire platform no longer exists as of March 2017. Number 8. Disney's River Country, Florida River Country opened near the grounds of the Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground of June 20, 1976. After its 1971 opening, the park was one of the first major additions to Walt Disney World and was one of the earliest fully themed water parks ever constructed. Themed as Tom Sawyer Swimming Hole, the park, originally known as Pops Willow Grove in construction, continued with several water-based attractions in future decades that would become industry norm in water parks. This included large water slides, a river with an inner tube, also known for its distinctive filtration method, which utilized the nearby Bay Lakes freshwater. The water was washed and filtered and used in the attractions of the park, while the water of the park stood at a higher level than of the lake, which meant that unfiltered water did not reach the park from the lake. The key explanation for the closure of river country is that, Next to its much larger relatives, the park simply could not sustain demand, particularly in the midst of the major travel downturn following the 9-11 attacks. Number 7. Land of Oz, North Carolina In 1970, visitors from all over the world flocked to the new Land of the Oz theme park in Beach Mountain, North Carolina. The attraction shut down in 1980 after its owner passed away and a fire took down the site's Emerald City. Its success was short-lived. It wasn't left totally deserted, however. The park was open to interested tourists in 1991 for one day, and as we've previously mentioned, locals have taken it upon themselves to hold the amusement park open for the annual Autumn and Oz events in relative working order. You will meet Dorothy during your visit to the Land of Oz and follow her on a tour of her country estate, just before a storm whisks you off into the Yellow Brick Lane. This huge winding trail reaches the peak of Beach Mountain all the way around and is made of 44,000 real yellow bricks. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video because these next amusement parks are definitely surprising. Number 6. Vidam Park, Hungary After many years of financial problems, on 30th September 2013, a Budapest amusement park, the biggest amusement park in Hungary, was closed down. At the beginning of the 19th century, the first permanent fun fair was opened in this area, and a century later, an English park was built here as well. Many attractions were badly damaged during the Second World War. Only a few attractions, including the wooden roller coaster and the carousel that were installed at the beginning of the 20th century, survived. In 1950, not long after the transition to communism, the English park and the fun fair combined to avoid a relocation or closure, and this new park took on a new name, Vidam Park, or Mary Park. 
There are about 34 attractions, including the Cave Train, the Haunted House, Bumper Cars, the Ferris Wheel, the Ghost Train, the Mirror Palace, the Roller Coaster, the Carousel, and hundreds of thousands of individuals visited them. Number 5. Pripyat Amusement Park, Ukraine The Pripyat Amusement Park situated in Pripyat, Ukraine is an abandoned amusement park. Its grand opening was scheduled to take place on 1st May 1986, in time for the May Day festivities. But these plans were scrapped on 26 April, when the Chernobyl disaster took place a few miles away. Several sources say that on 27 April, before the decision to evacuate the city was made, the park was open for a short time, and one site shows pictures of the amusement park in operation. Theories that in the wake of the accident, the park was hurriedly opened to divert residents of Pripyat from the nearby unfolding tragedy seem to be substantiated by videos showing that some of the rides were never completed. The paratrooper was not equipped with canopies, and the cladding of the ferris wheel was incomplete. It is more probable and widely held that, due to clothes worn, the video was taken in winter, and it was a test. There was no need to distract people, given the lack of fear at that time of the evacuation. In any event, the park, and in particular its ferris wheel, have become a symbol of the Chernobyl catastrophe. Number 4. Joyland Amusement Park, Kansas Lester Ottaway and his sons, Herb and Harold, formed Joyland. But this was not the beginning of the activities of the family amusement park. In late 1930s to early 1940s, Herb ran a small park called Playland in Plainview, Kansas before opening Joyland. During World War II, Boeing had moved a significant portion of production to Plainview, so the town was home to thousands of people who were looking for entertainment. Playland was tiny with only a few attractions including a Tilt-A-Whirl, a Ferris wheel, and a merry-go-round. A miniature steam train was also designed by Herb during this period. Joyland was Wichita's only amusement park for more than five decades. It was not only a part of Wichita's past for many, but a part of growing up as a Wichitan. Joyland was finally demolished in 2006, but for those who are old enough to recall the park in all of its glory, they will look back forever fondly on the memories they have made. Younger generations will never encounter Joyland, as the park has fallen to ruins and almost everything familiar has been destroyed and removed by the owners. Make sure to stay until the end of the video, because these last three will blow your mind. Number 3. Gulliver's Kingdom, Japan Gulliver's Kingdom theme park, constructed with oodles of government stimulus money in the shadow of Japan's Mount Fuji, was a sprawling white elephant that lasted for just 10 years. There is a little if any sign of the abandoned theme park today, its ruins or Gulliver himself, except the eerie and upsetting images captured by a legion of courageous Haikyo explorers. Situated near Kawaguchi Machi, Yamanashi Prefecture, Japan, Gulliver's Kingdom was a failed theme park. In 1997, the park opened and typified the Bridge to Nowhere development projects championed in the 1990s by Japan's government and banking sector. The Niigata Chuo Bank, which later fell into a sea of red ink and toxic, non-performing loans, backed Gulliver's Kingdom financially. The Niigata Chuo Bank was ordered to clear its books of unprofitable properties, of which Gulliver's Kingdom was one, and it morphed into a so-called zombie bank. They had lent about $350 million to the company. In October 2001, for the last time, the unpopular theme park closed its doors at Brobdingham. Number 2. Crinkly Bottom Theme Park, England He might no longer be very famous, but great fans of Mr. Blobby might remember that he had once had a theme park of his own. Crinkly Bottom, or Bobby Lynn, opened in 1994 at the height of Blobby Mania at Cricket St. Thomas, Somerset, when the pink spotty sidekick featured in the house party of Noel Edmonds. It closed down five years later, but before explorers found Mr. Blobby's derelict house in 2009, the buildings remain on the property, abandoned and standing eerily empty. When people remember their family holidays in the 90s, their photos and videos went viral, and so many people broke in to explore the house that it was finally demolished in 2014. But the park's biggest attraction for kids in the 90s was, of course, Mr. Blobby's home. A white picket fence enclosed on Blobbin, painted bright pink with yellow spots and a blue roof, and had windowsills decorated with blooming plastic flowers. A doorbell that could be pressed to hear the familiar shrill cry of Blobby 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 was next to the famous front door, where everybody wanted their picture taken. Number 1. Camelot Amusement Park, UK England's Camelot theme park, once a fabled destination, now lies abandoned and in ruins, with no prospects in sight. It's located in Chorley, Lancashire. Formerly one of the region's most visited attractions, this creepy amusement park hosted more than 500,000 guests from its opening in 1983 to 1995. Camelot Theme Park, owned by the Story Company when operated by Knights Leisure Limited, was originally inspired by King Arthur's legend and included medieval-themed exhibits and roller coasters such as Caterpillar Capers, Junior Dragon Coaster, Dragonflyer, Excalibur, and Nightmare, the only surviving yet dilapidated coaster. Until being closed to the public in 2012, this seasonally-run amusement park was in operation for almost 30 years. About 150 members of the workforce lost their jobs. 
Although the owners blame the weather and high-profile events as the reasoning for the shutdown of Camelot theme park, there were a few fatal accidents in the park that reportedly played a role in its closure. In 2001, the Gauntlet roller coaster hit and killed a park employee. A teenage boy was struck and killed by a bus in the parking lot of Camelot in 2004, and a 12-year-old boy dropped from the Excalibur 2 ride in 2011. Fortunately, he survived. Although amusement parks are places of pure laughter, enjoyment, and fun, it can be a place of horror. These amusement parks were abandoned for a number of reasons such as financial issues and weather-related damages. These are the top 10 abandoned amusement parks, and make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos.